Dr. Alex Bond, and I'm the senior curator in charge of birds at the Natural History Museum. I'm Beth Montague Helen. I'm a senior research librarian at the University of Nottingham. What does the Athena Prize mean to me? I mean, as an individual, it's incredibly humbling. The fact that someone as big as the Royal Society has a prize that is celebrating work that people are doing in this area is really important. The Royal Society is widely respected across the world. An explicit recognition that working to improve diversity in science is valued by such an organisation, I think sends a really strong message. The LGBTQ plus STEM project aims to showcase scientists who also happen to be LGBTQ plus. We do this through two main ways. First is a blog with interviews that allow people to discuss their identities both personally and professionally and serve as examples to people who might read them. And also a once a year, one day conference called the LGBTQ plus Steminar, which brings together queer folks talking about their research and their science, but in a safe and professional environment. I am Tyler Kelly. I'm a lecturer in UKRI Future Leaders Fellow in Geometry and Mathematical Physics at the University of Birmingham. While I've had supportive role models during my career, there have been many obstacles, pieces of discrimination that I've faced and harassment. When I gave my talk at the LGBT seminar, it was really one of those eye-opening points where I just was fully myself while presenting my research in a way that made me have this kind of shift in my viewpoint that I don't need to limit any of myself. It really made me want to give back to the LGBT STEM community by organizing an LGBT seminar here in 2020. It was immediately a really welcoming atmosphere. Professors were talking to PhD students. And it was because all these people suddenly felt that they could just be themselves. And we see this every year with people who are attending their first seminar, for example, or stumbling across the website for the first time. You put yourself in, in their shoes and it can really make a difference. And to have that recognised, I think, is, um, yeah, it's very humbling. It's amazing that people who were involved wanted to put us forward for this prize. Um, we knew it was important. And it's extremely nice that the Royal Society also thought it was important. There is just so much work left to do as a society more broadly and within STEM specifically. And that's why we keep going. How can you come up with amazing, exciting, cool new ideas for your research if a quarter of your brain is too busy worrying about what you're letting out to the world. You've got to be able to give it everything. Mm -hmm.